Guys, it's time, once again, let's check it out. Bye. have constructed 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 this beautiful thing so we're gonna get four we're gonna complete the turbine over there today that one there that one there we're gonna complete that that should give us a reasonable amount of power my little resources I've dropped on the floor we have got the basic refiner and then I'm gonna get the assembler I'm gonna put it here and we're gonna go through these now guys things when you're doing this thing is you've got the access to the terminal here which is the basic terminal that can get you the contents inside in here is the control panel area now anytime you can have any control panel in your game you will find will pretty much access everything on that grid now this is a fixed large grid because it is buried in the ground I have explained to you this before in the previous episodes if you haven't seen them guys go please go check those out uh, yeah so any questions, by always, guys, any questions about Space Engineers, this is Space Engineers for Xbox, by the way, Space Engineers for Xbox. So there will be a few changes here and there. There will be some things that I'm unable to do, which we can do on PC, but we will, you know, progress further. All right? Okay. So we mine, we're we mining over there at the moment, over there. And our next objective is to finish, find out exactly what we need to finish off this baby, the wind turbine. So I'm gonna go ahead and turbo up. Y button, jetpack. Look in it. Now the look it says I need two computers, 30 interior plates, and some girders basically. But I don't have to count them all. What I can do is build planner. I'll go close to it. Alright, contents added to build planner. Now that's the left trigger. Go down. Land. I'm gonna come over here. Du -du 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 into there now it says add components from the build planner to produce the queue now that's the thing I just did upstairs on the wind turbine now it seems I already have some stuff here so before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and hit this button and you see that's what I'm missing from what was left so I'm gonna go ahead and add these to the broken turbine the one we already had right trigger look at that boom so that's everything we needed to get it running. Cool? Cool. Right. Okay, so. We are basically we've done that so we've got now got four turbines up and running now the next thing we need to do is make the assembler and guys by all means by all means if you haven't seen some of the older videos I am currently doing a video on no man's sky uh, we're, we're kind of chopping and changing between this and no man's sky but yeah go check out no man's sky by all means I have seen, seen some of my older videos like subnautica and Conan exiles and various other jobs but by all means this is what we're up to today Space engineers. All right, so let's crack on, shall we? So our next objective is a assembler. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and re bring up the radio. To, ma, I see it here. Basic assembler. Now I could go to recent blocks to get that, but what I'm gonna do, it's gonna quickly show you is production. You see our uh, production and medical. Now, in the production medical, if you see the top where it says survival kit, underneath there is three items. Pressing the A button will cycle those three items. Okay? So we have survival kit, assembler, basic assembler. Survival kit, assembler, basic assembler. So we want the basic one to start with. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, by the way, guys. If you do, say, for instance, have stacks of stuff in your build planner, if you look at the bottom corner, you can press Y and that will clear those. Just tap at each one and clear. So, make sure you check your build planner before doing it, before doing your next job, because you don't want to be building stuff that was on the old build planner. In theory, it should remove it when you've completed that build planner, but generally that doesn't happen. So, let's crack on. Basic assembler. Boom. Now that is in the build planner. I'm going to let go of that. I'm going to come over here. Da -da 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 -da. We go over to here. I'm going to add components from build planner to production queue. 
cycle over to production. So that's everything I need for the assembler. Now, I can pretty much guarantee that's not going to be enough resources. So I'm going to go ahead and do some resource runs. Um, and hopefully, you guys won't need to watch it because I'll go ahead and skip past this bit because this is the Murley Monday bit. The thing you must remember about my videos, guys, all my videos are done without admin stuff. I basically play the game as it is, as it's intended to be. Because to be quite honest, there's nothing worse than somebody who abuses their admin powers. And you guys know who you are, who abuse the admin powers, you know. Right, going back into the cave. Da -da 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 -da. And as always, guys, I'm going to change the angle because it's going to be really noisy. The stuff I left on the floor last time. Right, that is us done. Oop, went back the wrong way. There we go, come on, get out of here, skull. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So the objective today is building the basic assembler. We've got plenty of power now. Chuck that in there. See, that's the stuff that was unable to build because it didn't have the resources. Now, because I'm the basic assembler, it won't just build it straight from the iron ingot because that's what I need the assembler, the refiner for. And it makes me wonder why am I putting all the stone in there? Because I don't need to because I've got this baby. And this will do a lot quicker. We're gonna bang it in there. Look at that. That just flies. So we're gonna let that process. Fine, was it? Now, guys, if you are building on a server that has a PvP potential, uh, I highly recommend going subterranean. Build an underground base. There's nothing stopping you. You dig for caves, there's nothing stopping you. All you need to do is concerned is where you get your power from. Now, one of the tricks that I like to use is I would normally, if I was on a PvP server, not build like this. Because I'm running this so on myself that nobody's gonna bother me on this one, except for maybe the AI. We'll worry about that later. Um, what I normally would maybe is build under I'm quite famous for on this game for building subterranean bases um, where the little pylon goes through the ground and it comes out next to a tree or a cliff so it doesn't stand out too much but yeah that's the general generally what I do I'm gonna go to just to explain a few things right as you can see here while we wait for this we have inventory, control panel, production, info. Now info is a really good one to keep an eye on, okay? It tells you basically your PCU for Just bear in mind, remember those words, PCU. Something we'll we'll talk later, longer, when we're more into the game, we'll talk about PCU, grid mass, triangles, artificial masses, gravity generators, spotlights, lights, thrusters, conveyors, and the physical shapes. But, but we'll discuss all that at a later date, but just something to bear in mind, PCU limit. All right, factions. Now, currently, I'm not in a faction. We do have two factions to be concerned with. Not overly concerned because we're small fry right now. 
That's space pirates and space spiders. They're the two. They're the two bad guys, basically, as you would say, because we kind of start out with them not liking us very much anyway. Calms, who's in the global chat? Who's here? What factions are going on? Who's talking to you, basically, if other players are here? And GPS. Now, the thing about GPS is, if you, for instance, find a source or something that you like, right now, this is the respawn pod where I started. Okay, that's your location of your respawn pod. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click in where it says name, and I'm going to name it home. Home base. So now I've changed its name to home base. We should be laughing. Okay. And uh, yeah, apparently did not want to like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go ahead, hit X for a new from current position. And then I'm going to change. Whoop. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go to the first one, real videos. Go to the title, delete that, title it again, H O M E space B A S E. Home base. Alright. We'll show that on the HUD. Then I'm gonna scroll down to that one and hit Y for delete. So now the only one we have here is home base. And the antenna, obviously. Now, the thing about it is, is if you are in the GPS section, any time you find something that's important, aka a, a metal node or a resource node or anything like that, you can make a, you can do X from new from current position. It will create a marker. Then you go over to the name section, like I've done here. Type the name, say for instance, silver. If you find silver, and you're like, oh, I gotta remember this later on. And more, more when I'm into the game, I got to remember where the silver is. Press the X button, that'll pop up a name of your title, change it to whatever you want. Silver here, or just silver, like I do. Just generally silver or components. Or even better yet, if it's a PvP server, there's nothing stopping you guys and going into it and saying, oh, look, there's the enemy base. You sneak next to the enemy base, throw down a GPS marker, you know exactly where to sneak out again without them knowing. You've now can get up to four players. There's nothing stopping you guys. If you fancy a bit of PVP, there's nothing stopping you guys to say, hey, I'm arranging for a two-way, two-on-two battle. Yeah? You guys start on this side of the planet, we'll start on this side of the planet, or, or, we start on Earth, you start on Mars, vice versa. You know, you start on the moon, we start on Earth, we start on Mars, you start on the Moon. Whatever the case may be, this has serious potential for multiplayer. And or, or you can have a four guys cooperative play and build the best base that you guys have ever seen. And as usual, I digress. Okay, let's get the resources out. Come over here. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Our resources are producing again. Jetpack fuel is low. We'll go over to the start over here. Hold the X button down. And boom, right. Let's drop the resources we just harvested in here. Okay, and obviously guys, we can get better resources. So we're still waiting for all these resources. Now, if you if you want, see that, doing it that way is gonna take us a while, but if you have a mine, a uh, drill on you, which you should have, run around your base, um, because what will happen is, is if there's any resources that are close to the surface, 
with the drill with the drill in your hand they'll pop up we're gonna have a quick little run around we're gonna go ahead and do a, a little bit of a, a speed boost a little bit of a fast little bit of a musical interlude right now okay all right guys I'll see you in a minute And I hate to say it, we found nothing. Not any decent resources. Usually, when you run around, you can uh, get a good handful of little, you know, a little bit of iron or maybe a little bit of, you know, something else. But hey, that's the luck of the draw. That's the luck of the draw. No problem. Almost ready. Nope, we landed a bit too high on that one. I'm going to go get you more, one more. It's good for more than just the oxygen. It's also for, good for my jetpack. And I need that. Desperately need that. Right. So. Come on. It's a nice little area, to be quite honest. I mean, I've seen some areas that have been really bad. I've seen people who landed on the side of cliffs, everything. So this area, in the middle of a green area, not too bad, I must admit. Not too bad at all. Not too shabby. Okay. Let's just hope... This gives us enough to finish this off, because otherwise we'll be going back into the mine yet again. Now, like I said, guys, if there is something that I've gone over that I've gone too fast, or you didn't quite understand, feel free to say in the comments down below anything, any questions or anything like that. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start this now. Remember, you can't take from the production queue. You've got to go back to inventory to take it out. Right. Start building the assembler. And that's down, okay. All right, base assembler, boom. Boom. Now people say to me, why do I have it facing each other? The reason is because I can put a cargo hold in the middle here, yeah? And everything's good, we can access everything from there then. We go ahead and start welding this. It will put all the available ingredients available. Available ingredients it will put in. Make a nice little yeah, that's not too bad today. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see where we're at. With our little bits and babs. Oh, we're not doing too bad. Not too bad at all. So we need another 32 computers, and then we are done. And that will be the basic assembler. Come on, puppy. Let's not run out of resources now. That is the last thing we want. So we're going to do a nice tight 
videos on the space engineers. I'm going to cover each component that we need to cover in more detail than normal just to make sure that you guys cover it comfortable and that way you can go back in any video I, I make of the space engineers you can go back for a specific type of build you know is it the assembler is it the refiner is it the basic refiner or the basic assembler wind turbines solar panels pretty much everything we'll cover the bases looks like we're gonna have enough come on ah four short that's a kicker we should still be able to build it though All right, now it's been built, okay, but watch. I'm at 95%. I've got five short of steel plates, but it's functional. Now, if you're looking at the bar, the PCU for this assembler is 40. There is a maximum PCU limit for the world for your server. So remember, when building, don't try not to build unnecessarily because the more you stuff add to the world, the more the world will be affected by it. So, like I said, I can use this right now, which is a golden mind, because now we are ready, good to go. I basically need just another five steel plates, and we're done. I mean, happy days on that, eh? Okay, right. Just, just run out of fuel. But that's okay. We don't mind. Right, so we now have our basic assembler up and running. Happy days. Uh, just, did you see that? You see that? I my power is down to two batteries. Two. I know that's crazy, isn't it? Let me get my grid back up. All right. All right. I'm gonna go into there. Check my control panel. I want to check my ore detector is maximum. At range is 50 meters. That's not bad. Okay. Parachute hatch, I don't need to waste power on that because I can turn it off, don't need it anymore. Landing gear, I leave that on. Beacon is off, make sure that stays off guys. Unless you want to be, unless you want to be found that is. Battery is on and auto, antenna is on and I'm going to turn ahead and turn that off. Okay, it's 400 watts current input. Turn it off, I'm going to go ahead and... All right, yeah, so we're pretty much done here guys. We did the basic assembler. Happy days, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything I think everything's looking good now. Right so now, we go ahead and take the ingredients out of here. Now I know there is a use for gravel. Um, I'm not, too, I'm not really interested in that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and chuck that on the floor. I'm not really bothered. Go to the assembler, chuck that in. We need. Fix that, we need five steel plates. Probably ain't got enough. What I will do is I'm gonna add five there. Okay, so when using the assembler, and I may have gone through this before, but just gonna to touch base on this real quick. It's right bumper and A is 100. Okay. All right, so right, stick, right bumper and A on anything, so I'll say we'll pick we'll put that right. One hundred. Go over to the hundred. Press the same thing again. Clears it. All right. So, left bumper and A. Ten. Simple as that. But there's a really good one. Is right and left bumper and A is a thousand that's the kicker cool anyway we've covered what we need to cover guys i shall see you guys on the next episode of space engineers oh yeah right guys as always i am found on facebook twitter twitch and instagram Guys, don't forget to check me out. And guys, if you want to see more content like this, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later. Bye.